this is the kickoff project for the Wasatch Watershed Legacy Partnership. And we're here to work on one of the trails that's continually washed out by spring flooding. It's a huge multiple use trail. Uh, hikers, uh, families, bikers, climbers all use this trail. So we've been trying to get all of those users together to kind of give back to the area as this is our watershed. I mean, over five million people come to these, these canyons each year, so we're trying to draw awareness to the issues surrounding the watershed. So we're going to be rebuilding some bridges that were taken out and, and compromised during some of the floods, regrading areas of the trail, making it more sustainable for future flood events, and there's a, there's a lot of graffiti and things along the sides of the trail that we're going to be cleaning up just to make sure that, um, to clean the canyon up and make sure that this is a place that's welcoming to all the visitors that, that come here and so that they feel safe and can enjoy their experience here in our watershed. The Cottonwood Canyons are part of the watershed for Salt Lake City. There are seven watershed canyons and so this canyon that we're working in today is one of those. And they provide about 60% of the drinking water to the residents of Salt Lake City. So people in the valley that are using the water every day to drink, to brush their teeth, everything they do with water in their households is coming right from the snowpack in these mountains. So it's extremely important that we protect it. It's a beautiful place to go for recreation and that's just as important as well, but it's even if we're not up in the canyon on a particular day, we're still using the water from that area every day right out of our faucets. Well, the Water Legacy Partnership that we have involves watershed restoration as well as recreation improvements and this project fits in really well to that because it is a recreation improvement and it's also about watershed management and keeping people on a trail that's designated and keeping water off the trail running down um, into the creek where it needs to be without bringing a lot of silt. So when it runs down the trail, um, if trails aren't maintained properly, then it, it adds silt to the creeks and so that's not good for the watershed or water quality. I think it's an excellent project. It's a really popular trail that's been closed for a while because of some damage from flooding last year. Um, so I know a lot of people in the community are excited to get back on it and be able to use it. And I think the project today is a great example of a really healthy partnership here between nonprofits like Cottonwood Canyons Foundation and the city, Watershed, um, the U.S. Forest Service, other nonprofits like Save Our Canyons. So I think it's a great example of people working together. There's a lot of just the public, volunteers, um, trail users out there to help, so we really appreciate that. And it's a long-term partnership with a variety of entities, non-government organizations, the state of Utah, several departments from there, several municipalities. And our vision is to create and have sustainable ecosystems in these watersheds feeding the city of Salt Lake and sustainable recreation to continue improving the water quality in these watersheds. We really see the trail work, restoration and improvements as really important to watershed health. If the trails are in good shape and they're maintained and they're safe and easy for people to use, then people really tend to stay on the trails and then they stay out of more sensitive areas that we're trying to protect for wildlife or wildflowers or other areas that are more sensitive. So if it's, it's a win-win for the safety of the visitors um, and their enjoyment, but also to protect the area as well. This is one of my favorite trails. I bike this trail. And the last time I tried to bike this trail was about two months ago. And I came across signs that it was closed and not accessible to the public. Um, a couple of days ago, I got an email through Wasatch Mountain Club that they were doing trail maintenance on this trail today. And they needed volunteers. And I thought, hey, it's a great opportunity to come and help make the trail usable again. Yeah, it's, it's been really fun to meet a lot of uh, nice people, a lot of people giving their time today. So it's been a really rewarding experience for me. Maintaining our trails to standard and keeping them in order, you know, carries off not only for public safety, but also it carries into what we, you know, our price, ultimate price of what we pay for water. The partnership's important to us because much of the area is municipal watershed, both for current and future water supply needs. As we look into the future and we see these increased challenges such as population growth and demand for recreation and climate change, we're really entering into a new paradigm of how we steward these watersheds. 
I think it's great. We love having contributions from the public and we've got different public entities. We've got Salt Lake City Watershed, we've got Salt Lake County, we've got Town of Alto, we've got the Forest Service. So we've got several parties working on this trail to get it open and I view it as a positive thing. So these types of cooper cooperative engagements and assistance through volunteers and volunteerism from the public is going to, you know, it's needed more now than ever. And uh, we've had pretty good turnout, so I, I think we're fortunate. This project's important because our trails are in dire need of some tender love and care. So we're trying to draw the awareness of the high use of these trails and give back to the watershed that gives us so much uh, in here in the valley and to visitors of the Salt Lake Valley.